Hey horse lovers, welcome back to Free Spirit Equestrian. So many of you have asked me a similar question time and time again. And that question is, what are my plans with Belle and Esmeralda and am I gonna sell them or keep them? So in today's video, I'm gonna give you a little update and talk about my future plans as of now. So now Esmeralda is just under two weeks old and she's growing a lot, she's doing so well. She's super friendly and kind and it just makes me so happy. And Belle has just been a fantastic mom. Like I'm so impressed with her and she's great about people and she's just wonderful and again Esmeralda is just bright and bold and willing and smart and intelligent and it's been really fun to see her grow and develop just over these past two weeks it's crazy how fast they grow and how much they change So we just got tons of rain, like two inches in 24 hours, and she just went for like a big roll. Oh, you're looking to explore in the puddle? <laughs> what is that? Good water training, huh? You're a good girl. Hi. Hey, pretty girl. Look how muddy you are. Are you a dirty girl? Who's a big mess? Oh, yes. Hey, Mama. Go with Mama. So of course they have their paddock that they're always in, but I just opened the outdoor arena so that they could come out here for a couple hours and Belle can just graze because it's too wet to go in the pasture. I will be showing you another fun video of them in the pasture, but today it's super wet, but this way she can come in the sand, move around a little bit more for a few hours, <laughs> eat some grass, oh, and play in the puddle. What you doing? Oh, hi. Thanks for showing off. And thank you for keeping your distance. I let Belle and Ezzy out here every day just to get more movement and stimulation if they're not going out on pasture. So now Ezzy is starting to eat a little bit of grass and she'll eat her mom's grain a little bit too, nibbling on some hay, super cute. And soon we will definitely be installing her creep feeder and giving her her own full foundation grain, which I'll be showing in another video, but it's just exciting, all the little building blocks and steps throughout her development. I'm just completely obsessed with her and think that she's so fun and cute. Okay, but let's talk about what my plans are. So I said in a prior video that with Esmeralda, I am gonna wait till she's about four years old and I'm gonna start her under saddle then. So essentially I'll be doing all of her foundational work, her groundwork for the next four years, but then I won't ride her until she's four years old or around that time. And then after that, I'll have a better understanding of what she's like, what she wants to do. And then I'll be able to make a decision based off of all of that. I love watching Esmeralda and Belle. They are just mesmerizing. And now Ezzy is getting more and more zoomies as she becomes stronger and grows. And it's just so fun to watch her express herself and just watch her act in like just such a natural way and play. And then she'll, you know, go and eat and then she'll run and she'll explore. And she's become so much more independent. And you can see Belle will definitely watch her, but she'll also be like, yeah, okay, like I know it's safe here. So go do your thing and have fun. It's awesome to see.
So again, with the work that I do, the goal is goodbye. My mission in life is to literally find horses in need, work with them for one to five years, whatever the case may be, and then find them a home. So, so many people are saying you should keep Belle in her foal forever. They're so special. And 100% yes, they are. They are very special to me and I've never experienced anything like this before. But I also cannot continue doing what I'm doing if I keep every single horse. And I've already committed to Jiminy, my first horse who I've had 16 years, okay? I've had Belle for four months and she's amazing, but she is not my heart horse, okay? Jiminy has 16 years on her and he is my first horse and my forever horse. And also Bagheera who is older, so I don't feel like it's appropriate to sell her. Okay, I've had so many special horses come into my life and they're all very, very unique in their own way. All their situations are totally different, but I cannot keep them all. And if I continue to keep horses, then I'm not gonna be able to keep doing what I'm doing. And if I would have kept horses in the past, then I never would have come across Belle and Esmeralda. So my goal is to continue helping horses, okay? I could potentially find other pregnant mares at auctions and help them, and that could be something else that I do. Now, I'm not saying I'll for sure sell Esmeralda once she is old enough and I do start her. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but my goal is to not keep horses as much as possible. I think what's gonna be important for Belle is to give her an education once Esmeralda is weaned and spend time with her and figure out what she likes to do and what her perfect situation would be and that's what I'm going to pursue for her, okay? So I don't know what the future holds, but I know what my mission is and I know what I'm passionate about and I know that I need to stick with that and not do it for anybody else, not do it for YouTube, nothing. Do it for the horse and do it for me. Okay, horse lovers, we have quite a few thank yous to do. Candy, thank you so much for the beautiful card that you sent us along with this gift card to celebrate Belle and Esmeralda. That was so kind of you. Thank you so much. Clara, thank you so much for these super adorable sculptures of both Belle and Esmeralda. These are literally so adorable and it completely melted my heart when I got them in the mail. Thank you so much. Like, look at how cute they are. I love it. I put them right here on my shelf in the dining room so that I can see them all the time when I walk by and I just think they look adorable. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Shelly, for these brown riding pants. They're really cute. And for this pack of fly masks. They're all floral and super fun. Thank you, Jeanette, for sending us a bunch of fly traps and for this blue cotton lead rope. Wendy, thank you so much for sending us two of these Mare and Full Farnum supplements for Belle and Esmeralda. That will get us through for a long time and I really, really appreciate it. Thank you, Dorothy, for these two Tractor Supply gift cards. Thank you, Sherry, for sending us this Tractor Supply gift card as well. Thank you so much, Deborah, for this Tractor Supply gift card. Thank you so much, Lillian and Owen, for this Tractor Supply gift card. I really appreciate it. And thank you, Debbie, for these three Tractor Supply gift cards. You guys are absolutely amazing and I appreciate you all so much. And I just feel so special and loved. So so if you want to support Free Spirit Equestrian, you can order us something off our Amazon wish list. Link in the description. Thanks again, horse lovers. You're the best. Hi. Hey, Mama. What you doing? You trying to eat grass? Oh, you trying to eat grass? Doing? You good girl. Oh yes, you both are so cute. You love the itchies, huh? She loves when her shoulders scratch. <laughs> You're so pretty. So we've been working on basic tasks such as touching, moving away from pressure, picking up all four legs. I put the halter on a little bit. We're going to actually do some halter training with leading soon here. I just wanted to give her time to just be a baby, but also just for safety reasons, she needs to learn how to lead. So yeah, we've been having a lot of fun. She's great with fly spray, everything, and she's super friendly, huh? Oh, she loves this, so she'll do this so she gets her butt scratched. Yeah, you love the booty itches. <laughs> Get your head out of there. You're gonna bonk it. Told you. Look at this floofy tail. Get 
get out of here. What are you doing? What are you doing? You silly? Hi. What do you think, Grandpa? What's that full? What is that? Huh? Yeah, it was about as dry as the Sahara Desert out here, and then we literally got two inches of rain in 24 hours. Now it's a swamp. <laughs> it's like, you know? So again, I'm just gonna focus on Belle's training once Esmeralda is weaned, which will probably be in about six months, roughly. And we'll take it slow over the winter, pretty much just groundwork, give her time to adjust because she's not broke to ride. That was my indication when I first started working with her before I knew that she was in full. So again, we'll just do groundwork, establish like, you know, getting back into the swing of things training wise. And then the spring is when we'll go hard per se. And I'll really work on her training. It will be very interesting to see what Belle ends up liking and how she does training. Training wise, so I'm really looking forward to that. And again, then I'll just go from there. But right now, I'm just going to focus on, you know, raising the foal and taking care of them, and then we'll go from there. All I know is that right now, I just want to enjoy Belle and Esmeralda and just do everything I possibly can for them. Again, I don't know exactly what the future is going to hold. I just wanted to talk about my mission. I don't know if I'll ever be able to sell Esmeralda, but honestly, I won't know that until I really start working with her years down the road. But regardless, I'm just so incredibly blessed and thankful for them. We have definitely established a bond within a short amount of time, and I just do short sessions with her one to two times a day to get her used to my presence and I never just go up and approach her unless she comes to me. I am more so just present and taking care of them but if she approaches me then we will work on our basic handling like scratching or picking up her legs all of those different types of things. So I pretty much just put it in her hands and of course Belle's, but Belle has just been really cool about everything and as you can see here Esmeralda just loves the butt scratches. She is just the most adorable, precious thing right along with Belle. They are just so amazing. And I just can't believe this is my first opportunity to have a Marin foal. I'm, I'm so incredibly thankful. Okay, horse lovers, make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel, turn on your notifications so you don't miss anything Free Spirit Equestrian or any updates with Belle and her foal. And I'll see you next time. Bye.